Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Days. In the in the last episode we made an RTG and now we have too much energy. Yeah, I never thought I would say this, but I have too much energy being produced right now. And I have nowhere to put it. So what are we gonna do with all this energy? I don't know. What am I gonna how am I gonna store it? I I have no clue. Uh, we need to go hunting for some batteries though, and I think that's the first thing we're gonna do today. Of course, the first thing I'm gonna do is take off the hazmat suit. I don't even need that anymore. We're not dealing with dangerous, nasty stuff. And also, I can go ahead and empty out my inventory. I've also been thinking about doing some time lapses of the building that I do, just because. Okay, so let's actually get to today's episode. What are we doing today? Well, we are going to go get some cobalt from the Nether. So today we're 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 getting progress towards the ultimate pickaxe. Yeah, the greatest pickaxe ever. It, it doesn't break. Well, well, actually, the one we're making today will, will break. But, um, we're gonna upgrade it into one that doesn't break. And it's gonna be able to do even better than our dash pickaxe, because it, it's actually just, like, just so good. But the first thing I had to do was uh, deal with these zombie pigmen who were uh, chasing me around, trying to prevent me from getting the cobalt I need. Drop the... What the heck? How do people use these? You know, I have never used a bow. Maybe once. Maybe one time. Okay. Th th this this is a problem. This requires some some uh Okay. You know what? I will deal with this problem. Uh the one way I know how. Wait, does this Does this have ammo in it? Uh, you know what? It has ammo. Okay, cool. <laughs> I know what we're using this on. Okay, if you all don't stop, I'm gonna launch this stinger rocket at you. Th this is meant for taking out tanks. Yeah, okay. Th see, there's there's actually a guy down there wearing power armor. Wait, wait, wait. There's there's no ammo. I I've been lied to. Okay, at least I have ammo for this thing. I got two more rounds. In, in this, this strange tube of doom. Okay. You all asked for it. Kaboom! How are they still alive? These are some resilient fellows. The fact that they can survive a shot from from an 83mm rocket is pretty crazy. Oh, I have, I have sights on this? this? This is pretty crazy, too. Drop your good loot. Drop your good loot, please. I would like a helmet. I'd like your helmet, that would be nice. Okay, he just one-shots ya. If you, uh, basically, he almost one-shotted me. Prepare to be killed. It's not over. There's one more, come on. Just... Where did the zombie come from? I, I don't understand. Did I kill all the pigmen and all that's left is these guys? Just regular zombies? You know what? If they won't stop chasing me, I'll go source my cobalt from one of the other and, uh, I mean, nether islands. Because apparently our place is basically two giant islands, so... Yeah, maybe if all the pigmen are over there, I will get the cobalt from here. What's up, friends? You all won't kill me. I am very happy about that. Okay, I think I've sourced a decent amount of, um, cobalt. I don't know. Maybe I should get more? <laughs> I don't think I need more. I think I have enough, though. It can't hurt to get a few more pieces of cobalt. What, what am I saying? Let's get all the cobalt. Let's get it all. I haven't explained why we need the cobalt at all. But we need the cobalt to make a thing called um, a cobalt pickaxe. But we can make a cobalt pickaxe into a uh, forged, uh, a decorated cobalt pickaxe. Wow. Now that's pretty fancy, if I do say so. Wait, you can make it into a star metal pickaxe. Whoa. Guess what we have over here in this box, I think? Yeah. Just a block of this stuff. So basically, y you don't want to use uh, your cobalt or your decorated cobalt or your star metal pickaxe for mining. 
Otherwise, you can't upgrade it, and I found this out the hard way when I was playing in my other single-player world. Yeah, it's very, very disappointing when you can't upgrade it to the next tier. But to actually get a decorated cobalt pickaxe is, is kind of difficult because you, you need to get some, some meteorite for that to make the meteorite ingot. So we have to go hunting for some meteorite blocks. Or just find them in a chest, I, I, I don't know. I don't remember how to make a meteorite ingot. I think it involves something to do with taking a meteorite ingot, which is made in a blast furnace? Oh, with cobalt. Okay, I see what I'm doing here. So take two pieces of cobalt and two of these, and I should be good. Now, fortunately, this recipe only calls for, like, one of these, so I should be fine for a while. However, we might want to make a second one. I don't know. And while all of this has been happening, our bismuth is done. Yes. So now we have two ingots of bismuth. That is basically what we got out of that. You're probably asking, is, is bismuth 209, like, making a bismuth 209 pickaxe even really, um... It, it, can we do that yet? Well, you need four pieces of bismuth to actually make a pickaxe from it. That sucks. I, I have two pieces right now, though, so... And I also have one lead 209, so by the time our next batch is done, I'll have, like, six ingots of the stuff. So both of our meteorite ingots are done, we're gonna throw them in the furnace, and we're gonna start turning them into forged meteorite ingots. And, uh, well, once, once these are heated up and made nice and hot, don't take them out of the furnace until you got both of them in a stack, and then... Then you run over to your anvil, and you just shove them in there, and then boom. Gotta do that fast, because uh, otherwise it won't go very well for you. Now, in, in this mod, HBM's mod, there's actually several things that have, like, timers on them that really force you to, like, go fast. There's this stuff called, um... En Energium? I, I don't know, it's like this this energy ingot, and basically it has like a 60 second countdown till it explodes. And there's also this meteorite ingot where you have to <laughs> literally take it to the anvil as fast as you can. Otherwise you have to reheat it, and, and nobody wants to reheat their, their ingots of meteorite. Better than netherite. Like, even, even, even though it's, uh, it's, it's not netherite, it's still better. Yeah. Even though it's not unbreakable, I still consider it better. Why am I wearing a gas mask? Why am I doing this? Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce you all to something new. So, I have a goal board. Of all the things we're gonna do. And we have done some things. RTG. Boom. Get that out of here. Now, we got either the nuclear craft or the HBM reactor is what we're gonna make next. However, nuclear craft reactor is probably gonna be more up here in our priority list, because this doesn't allow us to do as much as this can do. Uh, we need to get some different isotopes, and this will allow us to get those quicker. Uh, Shrubidium has to happen after this, and so does the ore acidizer. I also want to try making a Shrubidium-powered RBMK, but that also comes after the Shrubidium production. And those are like the main things I'll do in the videos, but also I have side projects that I'll do like finishing the iron farm in the maybe a creeper farm I was thinking about that anyway let's go ahead before we end today's episode I'm gonna go check on the lead and see if it is getting close to being done this stuff takes forever and it's probably because I am not using this properly <laughs> this RPMK is the most garbage RPMK you can ever make not only does it not make energy, but it also just is only good for irradiating things. But it has one good advantage, and that's that I fixed it. Uh, the fact that it was leaking radiation out. So now I can actually stand next to it and I'll be fine. Yeah, I had to put like coverings over it and uh, basically that's pretty much it. So if you all have enjoyed today's episode, then... Uh, Please, cons please consider uh, liking and subscribing. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. I will see you all next time, and uh, goodbye.